What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Tonight we are discussing the second race of the playoffs, the Federated Auto Parts 400 from Richmond International Raceway. This race had some moments we definitely can talk about. We'll go through and talk about them in today's race. So, only, so let's go through and talk about, talk about the race pretty much. So Brad Kozlowski ended up qualifying on the pole and he basically took off straight away at the start of the race. However, Barn Trix Jr. was able to run down Kislowski, and it was able to pass Brad Kislowski for the lead, and Barn Trix Jr. was able to pull away and hold off the rest of the field and win stage one. Uh, Barn Trix Jr. won one, Kyle Busch second, Third was Brad Kozlowski, fourth, Denny Hamlin, fifth, Kevin Harvick, sixth was Clint Boyer, seventh, Matt Benedetto, eighth, Chase Elliott, ninth, Eric Jones, and rounding out the top ten in the first stage was Jimmy Johnson. Pit stops, pit stops ended up taking place, and coming off pit road, Kyle Busch was able to take the lead away from Martin Church Jr. off pit road, and he'd restart with, with the race lead. Went back racing a few laps later and went green for a few laps. And then the first um, caution of the race would come out. Um, on the restart, there was a lot of scuffling and a lot of contact going on throughout the restart. Alice Bowman decided to dive to the inside of uh, Austin Dillon. They made contact. And then a few laps later, Austin Dillon got back toward um, Alex Bowman and basically just dumped him. Straight up dumped him. Like, I mean, seriously? <laughs> You're dumped a playoff driver? I get that he got into you. Oh, my hair was messed up. Sorry. Uh, my That uh, he got into you, but it's like, seriously? He's a playoff driver. He's trying to be aggressive. He's got to go to the front. Like, come on, Dylan. Get it together. Seriously. And then we went back after that, we went back racing on lap 117. And Kyle Busch basically took off running on this restart and Kyle Busch was able to pull away from the field and he was able to win stage two. Mark Trish Jr. got second, Denny Hamill third, Eric Jones fourth, Brad Zosky fifth, um, Ryan Newman sixth, Kevin Harvick seventh, Chase Elliott eighth, ninth was Clint Boyer and rounding up top ten, once again, Jimmy, Jimmy Johnson finishes tenth. Went back racing um, on lap two, uh, went and on pits on the pit stop, Bragasowski was able to get away. Actually, went back racing on lap two ten with uh, Kyle Busch basically taking off on on the restart, and then we had our fourth caution race come out for uh, the seventy seven to Reed Sorensen. He uh, apparently had something break on his car. I think the brakes had issues, and he went up the racetrack and brought out the caution for the second to last time in this race. Then we have pit stops, and Brad Kozlowski, like I was trying to say, ended up winning the race off of pit road. And then, and then Martin Trix Jr. and Brad Kozlowski, after this, had a really awesome battle for about four or five laps. Brad and, and, Kis, and uh, Martin were be beating and banging, uh, were kind of beating and banging. They were racing basically side by side, Nose to tail, um, really, really close. Nose to tail, they were side by side. They were really close to each other, and they were side by side for like three or four laps. And that was one of my favorite parts um, about this about this race um, overall was them being side by side and basically uh, battling for the race lead. And then Truex is eventually able to uh, pass Brad, and he uh, just uh, took off. And then the, one of the moments of the race took place. So, Ricky Santos Jr. decides to go down pit road. He's coming up fast. He locks up the tires, and he dumps, gets into Truex. How do you do that? Like, how? Only Stenhouse can do this stuff. And Truex still ended up being third because of this. But can I just bring this up? This is why I don't like Stenhouse. And I understand that Stenhouse did not intentionally uh, try to wreck him. I mean, it wasn't on purpose. I'll say that. But he should know better. You locked up the tires and the leader's on the outside. I mean, yeah, it's not intentional, like I said. But 
I mean, come on, man. It's like, this guy can't catch a break. Truex just gets dumped. I mean, ah, oh, it sucks. It wouldn't be over, though. Truex is not out of this race because he only fell back to third. And everyone was uh, questioning, why do you not go to the back like in the games? Because they don't put you in the back. This is not a video game. This is real life. And then where they stop you, where they score you, is where you restart. That's how NASCAR works. Just saying. You only go to the back if you go to pit road. Just saying. Went back racing with 79 laps to go. And uh, Kyle Busch, basically because of this, took advantage of this and had the race lead. And then it came down between him and Martin Trex Jr. for the race win. So, um, yeah, it basically came down between those two for the race win. Truex was about a tenth or two, uh, two tenths quicker about every single lap once we got in longer into the run. Once Truex got by Hamlin, he just started chasing Kyle down one or two tenths. He eventually got to Kyle with around 30 laps to go, in, with around 30 laps to go in the race. Um, and he and Kyle Busch battled back and forth for the win. Truex almost seems like once he's battling Kyle Busch is Almost seems like he's able to clear him, and then he get off, gets off the corner, and he gets a little bit, gets a little bit tight, gets a little bit tight, and he can't get off the corner as well. Kyle's able to kind of get back on the outside, but once they get to turn three and off of turn four, Truex is basically able to uh, clear Kyle, and because of this, Truex is able to pull away from Kyle Busch by a couple seconds, and for the second time in a row. Martin Truex Jr. is able to score a win. He wins here at Richmond. This is, I believe, the first time in Martin Truex Jr.'s career that he's gone back-to-back. -back. I think, if I'm not mistaken, he's never gone back-to-back -back until tonight. Also, Martin Truex Jr. Uh, wins a second straight race, and he just continues to, to dominate. I'm just going to say this right now. I think Martin Truex Jr. is honestly becoming the favorite to win the championship. The way that this dude um, has been running, um, especially recently, like I was saying, especially recently, I think he really honestly is the favorite to win the championship. Going back to back, um, I think he had the car. I think he really had the car to beat tonight. I don't even think Kyle Busch had anything for him. He was keeping up with Kyle Busch once Kyle got the lead. He really wasn't falling back. I just think Truex had a better car overall than uh, Kyle Busch in this race. So, Mark Truex Jr. scores his second win in a row. He's the favorite to win a championship. I think I think, I think, think Truex might get a second championship in the last three years. I really think he could. And I'm, I'm saying that now because he's been on such a roll. He turns it up in the playoffs. And, like I said, his sixth win of the year. So, anyway, let's go through the results. So, Mark Truex Jr. scores the win. Kyle Busch finished his second. Kyle Busch did end up leading the most laps in this race. But uh, Truex um, basically ended up uh, beating him because he was faster, just saying. Third goes to uh, Denny Hamlin. Uh, fourth goes to Brad Keselowski. Fifth was Ryan Newman. Ryan, let me talk about Ryan Newman for a sec. What an impressive top five for Ryan Newman, man. He might get to the round. might just be able to lock himself in the round of, into the uh, round of 12, man. Holy crap. Ryan Newman impressed me, impressed me tonight, man. I thought he was at one point had a shot to win the race tonight. He was up to third at one point. Like, holy crap, Ryan Newman got fifth. That's incredible. And then Roush car, by the way. Uh, sixth place goes to Kyle Larson. Seventh goes to Kevin Harvick. Um, eighth, Clint Boyer. Ninth, Daniel Suarez. And Jimmy Johnson with another top ten finish. Another top ten finish for Johnson. It's not bad. 11 goes to Joey Logano. Uh, Bubba Wall scored a top 15 finish once again. Uh, that team is definitely uh, improving a lot better. Especially on short tracks. That team has been two of the last three weeks in the top 20. Great run for the Richard Petty Motorsports camp. Uh, 13th, Chase Elliott. Not, not a great run for Elliott. Could have been better. He started well and just struggled. Um, Matt Smith in on a solid top 15 run. And then Ricky Stenhouse, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Uh, finished his 15th. I don't care for Stenhouse anymore. I've had enough with his shenanigans, even though it was an accident. I just, I don't have a care for him anymore. I almost at this point want to put him on my hate list just because of what he did tonight. Stupid. Uh, 16th, Eric Amarola. Playoff driver struggling, struggling tonight. Uh, 17th, uh, Ryan Blaney. 
struggled tonight as well. Uh, Kurt Busch, 18th. Kurt Busch, disappointing, most disappointing run um, for sure um, of this playoffs for Kurt Busch. Most definitely most disappointing run I've seen of Kurt Busch this year. Was nowhere to be seen in this race. The, not a good run at all. And then and in 19th goes to David Reagan, and 20th goes to Matt Tiff. 21st, Michael McDowell. 22nd, Austin Dillon. 23rd, Alex Bowman. 24th, William Byron. 25th, Daniel Hemmer. 26th, Ty Dillon. 27th, Paul Menard. 28th, Landon Castle. 29th, Corey Joy, And 30th goes to Ryan Priest. 31st was Chris Busher. Busher, what happened to Busher night? Honestly, bad night for Busher. Uh, 32nd, Austin Terrio. 33rd, J.J. Yaley. 34th, Spencer Boy. 35th, Quinn Howe. 36 Ross Chastain, 37 Free Sorensen, and in last, we'll talk about last place. So, also one thing to note, you didn't hear Eric Jones. Why didn't I mention Eric Jones despite crossing finish line fourth? Eric Jones failed inspection. Yes, you heard that right. Eric Jones finishes fourth, fin would have finished fourth if he passed inspection, but uh, he failed inspection, so he finished his last in 38, which means he gets no points. He had like 50. He lost. Check it real quick. Eric Jones tonight lost 41 points. So he's going to be six. He's going to be like 60 points outside of the cutoff line. Eric Jones now is in a must win situation regardless. He has to go. He's going into this race with a must win situation. Like, seriously, dude. Come on. Your team's got to pass this faction. Like, come on. So, anyhow, um, let's go through and talk about the standings now. Um,. Truex, Harvick, and Kyle Busch, they're locked in. They're for sure locked in. Truex second win in a row. Uh, Harvick and Busch, they're, they're, like I said, they're officially locked in. Hamlin is pretty much locked in, in my opinion. Keselowski, Logano. I think everyone from Elliott up, I think they're, I think they're going to be all right. Larson, I think he just has to have a good enough race to make it, and he'll be okay. It gets interesting from Newman down, though. Uh, Newman, uh, solid with like 15 points. Uh, get a couple really strong stage runs, which he's kind of struggled with this year. But if Newman can get out of there with a uh, a solid start run, even a top five run and get stage points, he'll be good to go. Uh, Blaney, he's going to have to really perform really, really well. Same with Almirola and Byron. They're both gonna all going to have to perform very well. Um, especially as Byron's only two points above the cutoff line. And all the rolls only three, and Blaney's only eight. Gonna have to perform well. All those guys are gonna have to perform very well from Newman down. I mean, Larson's not completely safe, but he's got 24 points, so Larson, I think, just needs to have a really solid day. Um, Bowman's only two points outside the cutoff line. Uh, Boyer is uh, some is like Boyer's um, five points out. He can make it in on points. Kurt Busch. Uh, he's like 20 points out or 15 or 16 out. He's got a lot of work to do. And Eric Jones is, uh, and Eric Jones is, uh, like 50 points out now. He's going to have to win, uh, the, the race. So, yeah. Um, yeah, spin and win for Marge Rex Jr. Pest out this video because he did end up, uh, spinning and winning. Sorry this video wasn't organized. As you can probably tell, it wasn't the most organized video. But now let me give you my, uh, rating of the race. I'm going to give this race a uh, 7.5 out of 10. I think the reports for this race was solid. You know, battles for the lead at times. It wasn't like a pure domination race, but really Kyle Busch and the Joe Gibbs team pretty much uh, dominated this race. And I, I I feel like those were the cars to beat, the, the Joe Gibbs cars, except Eric Jones. We don't count Eric Jones in this because he failed inspection. But Camlin, Truex, and Kyle Busch were the cars to beat. 7.5 out of 10 for me. Um, it was hard to pass. You, it was hard to pass. I don't think this package works still worse in the short tracks, except Bristol, but anything works at Bristol. It don't matter what package you use. It doesn't really matter, to be honest with you. So, uh, yeah, uh, that is uh, basically the race. 7.5 out of 10. Sol solid race. It wasn't great. It wasn't bad. I don't think that it'll be a race we will look back on in a few years. Kind of honestly not the best start in the playoffs, to be honest. I wish it was a little bit better. Just wish you could pass for the lead and stuff. It'd be hard, easier. The racing didn't suck all the way. Just wish there was a little bit more contention for the lead. But yeah, March this year scores his 27th career win, his 6th win of the year, back-to-back -back wins, and a spin to win. So yeah, 
That is it gonna be it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Like and like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, turn on case on. Oh, no, so you know if that video does go live on my channel. Also, uh, I want to thank you all for 50 subscribers. We've reached the 50 subscriber mark on YouTube. Thank you guys so much. I I super appreciate it. Um, this is just the beginning for the for this uh, channel reaching the 50 subscriber mark. This is this is a huge milestone for me. Um, I want to get to 100 by the end of the year. So if you're new to the channel, click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow me on my links um, for my social medias. Links description below of that. And comment below your opinions of the race as well. Let me know what you thought about the race. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.